This is a LEGO vacuum engine. It runs using a suction of a vacuum cleaner, which pulls the piston up, turning the crankshaft. However, this engine uses quite a lot of LEGO Technic parts. So, is it possible to build a running vacuum engine without Technic parts? I got asked this question on my Q&A community post. When I first read it, I immediately thought it wasn't possible. Can you still build a LEGO engine even without Technic LEGO pieces? And I'm gonna have to say no. However, a few days after that video was released, one of my friends on Discord sent me a message. They said the idea of a no Technic engine was interesting, even if it wasn't possible. So of course I had to try and build one. And here's what I did. There was a list of things I needed to figure out in order for this to work. The engine needed a crankshaft, a piston, a connecting rod, a valve, and a flywheel. My immediate thought was to use the 2x2 round bricks as an axle. I've been using this type of design on my model engines, as it makes the crankshafts look a lot stronger and more realistic, and I figured it would work perfectly for this engine. So I got a small base set up with some cheese slopes as journals. The crankshaft, as stated before, is made up with 2x2 round bricks and some 2x4 plates. As for the connecting rod, I used the same methods as my model engines, which uses these 4x4 round plates with a 2x2 round cutout. The piston is a 4x4 plate with the same style of journal as the crankshaft for the wrist pin, though it did need some reinforcement. Many times during testing, the piston would explode inside the engine. With that done, I built up the cylinder around the piston using some 1x2x6 bricks, mainly because the piston was too tall to use the standard 1x4x3 panels effectively. For the valve, I took the connecting rod design and, instead of putting the 2x2 bricks at the top, I put another 4x4 round plate, and then I built the valve to include a 2x2 round brick at the bottom. Now all the engine needed was a flywheel. Since I can't use any Technic parts, any kind of rim or wheel is out of the picture. However, I did have some of these octagonal plates that, with some bricks along the edge, would work perfectly as a flywheel. And with that, the No Technic Vacuum Engine is complete. Now, it's time to test it. But before we do that, if you want to see some awesome builds and hang out with people that love LEGO engines, you should check out my Discord server. There's a link in the description. I think it's safe to say that using Technic parts, even the common and simple ones like Technic bricks, axles, and beams are far better than trying to work around it with using system pieces. And I'm sure the main reason why this engine didn't run as good as it possibly could have is just my lack of knowledge on vacuum engines. So if you guys want to build this for yourself and maybe try to get it run a little bit better, I have free instructions available down in the description. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.